Oh la, you got Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Smith, the death free couple. And today we're going to talk to you about the basic five pillars to investing. Okay, the first pillar is you are never too young to get started with investing. I actually seen a video here just recently where there was a, a boy who started at the age of 13 with his investment account. He was taking money that he was earning from summer jobs and he was actually using that to put into investing. He was only doing about $100 and had it automatically coming out of his account, which is the best way to do it. Pillar number two, you can never invest too little. I know sometimes people feel as it relates to investing, you have to start out with this large amount. There are actually plenty of financial companies that allow you to invest as little as $100 on a constant basis to start growing your wealth. The more consistent you are with investing something as small as $100 here and $50 there, you'll be surprised at how rapidly your money can grow by using simple compound interest a lot faster than what the banks can grow your money. Okay, the third pillar is investing in companies that you're familiar with. I was reading a financial expert who has a massive investment portfolio and he was saying he started with three companies that he was familiar with. Now it's not our personal three companies, but it was his and it was GE, McDonald's and Apple. Those are the three companies that he was really familiar with. So he started investing in those companies. Pillar number four, do not try to time the market. Everything just kind of flows on a natural basis. You can never really tell exactly how the market is going to be. True enough, you can do your homework and study certain trends and the history of certain rise and falls due to certain things that's going on in the world. But the minute you try to time the market and you decide to withdraw your money based on an assumption or following the herd, doing things that everybody else is doing, that's when you start to allow your wealth to dwindle. It was a study that I just recently read that showed how people withdrew their money a lot earlier and kind of took it away from the market altogether, which resulted in them losing out on their retirement and the level that it had reached. And then they end up losing out on the compound interest that it had developed. So please do not try to time the market. Just have your money diversified. That way, if it's in different areas, some areas may rise, some areas may fall, but you still have some money that's rising even when you have other money that may be falling. Okay, and pillar number five is don't quit. Do the thing quit. about investing, it can be tricky. It can be really, really hard to understand, but the best thing to do is do your research and get started and don't quit. It may, you know, go up and down. The market may go up and down, but just stick with it, stick with it and you'll definitely see a positive result at the end. Please don't quit, because if you just think about it, as long as your money is in the market, some people get weary or fearful of, what if the market crashed, the whole market? Well, if the market was to shut down, that means everything shut down. Everything gets centered around the market. So you keep your money in there, and believe me, you won't have any worries about anything fading away, because if the market fades away, there are no businesses and imagine a world without businesses. So don't quit. Hang in there. All right. And those were our five simple pillars to invest in. We definitely hope that you found it helpful. Again, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Signing out. Subscribe and click any link that you see. All right.